So dear friends, after a break, I am coming to you once again. Can you all hear me? Yes, 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 yes Father. So, yes, yes, Father. good morning to all of you. And the course name, as you see, has seen, is uh, Faith and Reason. Faith and Reason. And here you have actually the course code that you see BS601. BS stands for, BS stands for, BS stands for, that is the course code. B means bachelor, bachelor's degree. You are doing a bachelor's degree. And yes means, this is a, it is the first word for supplementary obligatory course. This is a supplementary obligatory course. Most of the other courses that you take are obligatory basic. Well, this is supplementary basic and this is a must for those who are doing their BPH. Rome has made it compulsory. BS, B stands for bachelors and S stands for supplementary basic. 601, 6 actually stands for the semester, 01 is the number. So that is how it is. Faith and reason, BS601, welcome. Now, before we begin the class, I want to introduce you to four websites. You can see on your left side. One is assr.in. ASSR was established in JDV in 1998, 1998, before some of you were even born. And that stands for Association of Science, Society and Religion. Association of Science, Society and Religion. Then after three years of ASSR, Joe Corandadam and myself, we started the IISR. IISR stands for Indian Institute of Science and Religion. IISR, Indian Institute of Science and Religion. It was also connected with JDB, but now when Father Job left JDB and went to Delhi, the Institute of in Indian Institute of Science and Religion also it has moved to Delhi. Currently, it is located in Delhi in St. Xavier's campus. There is another website, Gnanam, that was also started by us. Gnanam, as you know, is connected to Gnanadiba. It is a search for wisdom, for vidya, for knowledge. Then a fourth one, JCSR, is a site that has grown out of ASSR. We have in JDV a center called Center for Science Religion Studies. So JCSR means JDV Center for Science Religion Studies. So all these four websites are being continuously updated. And in the course of these three, say, weeks, when you would be busy with faith and reason, please follow the materials given there. At least once in a while, browse on this, these four sites, SSR, IISR, Nyanam, and JCSR. So much for the introduction. Now I would like to share with you the screen, which every day I hope to show. These are just some posters where you would be able to have an idea of uh, how life goes on. I will just show you only, say, one or two posters every time. The most famous quotation connected with uh, science religion dialogue is that of uh, John Paul II. He is very clear. Science can purify religion from error and superstition. 
religion can purify science from idolatry and false absolutes therefore into religion sometimes error and superstition can creep in and science can purify religion and in the science idolatry arrogance self appeasement and false sense of certainty false absolutes can also creep in therefore religion can purify science from idolatry and false absolutes and this implies that we need a dialogue between the two and this quote you know is from saint john paul the second 1920 and he died 2005 after him came you know pope benedict this is a long uh, say statement or quote from the same saint john paul the second let's read it carefully both religion and science must preserve their autonomy their distinctiveness science and religion they are autonomous they are independent they are distinct religion is not founded on science science is also not an extension of religion each should possess its own principles guidelines its pattern of procedure its diversities of interpretation and its own conclusion therefore science and religion are autonomous independent but still they can come together for the common good of both science and religion and also for the common good of our own life therefore this course on faith and reason we divide into three large sections one feeders at ratio feeders at ratio is an encyclical issued by pope john paul the second the same pope we talked about feeders at ratio we would be spending a few days i will give you a summary of it and i want you to read this document this is an encyclical a special letter feeders et ratio that is by john paul the second second one is another encyclical called veritatis gaudium veritatis gaudium veritatis gaudium gaudium means the joy of truth gaudium is joy veritatis is truth the joy of truth this is another encyclical this is another encyclical one minute please uh, i am in a class i'll call you later this is another encyclical like feeder set rights you by the way feeder set rights you means simply means faith and reason veritatis gaudium is another encyclical issued actually recently by pope francis the third section we would be dwelling quite elaborately is on science religion dialogue the dialogue between science and religion now when we speak about science science we mean reason we mean intelligence we mean technological growth we mean the basis of today's society like the search for the vaccine that is a scientific enterprise so science is one part of our life which is very very significant the reason technology the empirical method of exploration while by religion we mean spirituality faith commitment and passion to god and to fellow human beings so what we mean in this third section is we need to have a healthy creative dialogue between the scientific and between the religious dimensions of our life today 
science and religion are the two pillars that hold our human society together. Our civilization moves forward based on our scientific technological explorations and on our religious and spiritual commitment. Therefore, we need both these two pillars to be steady, to be interacting with each other. So this in a way gives you an outlook, an outline of what we are going to achieve, the relation between faith and reason. Why has Vatican made this a compulsory course? For the simple reason, this course is a connecting course, a bridge course between philosophy and theology. Ratio is the philosophy part of it. Fides is the theology part of it. So this is a bridge course between the philosophy that you are completing now and the theology that you will be doing later. Basically, in this course, Vatican would agree, we want to show there cannot be a conflict between science and religion. There may be some irritants or some misunderstandings, but in the long run, there cannot be a conflict between science and religion. On the other hand, we would also say that our religion, our spirituality, our faith, should be based on reason. If they cannot be, our spirituality cannot be anti-rational. So in this context, as I told you already, JDB has been in the forefront of science religion activities. Nyanam is one of the groups that are present in JDB. ASSR is there. IISR and then JDB Center for Science and Religion. Have a look at uh, all these uh, sites as I told you, and that would be very beneficial to you. So much for the introduction. Do you?